right and welcome to a let's play of Banished. Um, I've been only playing this for a few weeks and um, it's really good. Um, so I don't know how good I'm going to be at this. Um, I keep the videos quite short and um, release them quite often. Anyway, we shall start with a new town um, and customise that. Um, we'll do a round of my seeds so that I don't know what the um, the actual map will look like so it'll be really really a surprise and hopefully it'll be so that we can um, sort of just cope with um, surviving our first year um, so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna change the name and I'm going to say we're going to have Virginia as our region um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, we're going to be playing this in the valleys, um, on a large map, on a fair climate, on, and we're going to have the disasters on, and it's going to be hard. So we're going to have a small cart, and let's hope we shall survive. We shall see. Time will tell, I suppose. Uh, so let's wait for this to load rather big, rather long loading screen. As you may know that I'm playing this on Linux and um, been enjoying it very much. So. Here we are. Right, first thing we'll do is go pause the game and zoom out have a look at the terrain i'm not going to spend too long looking at it but get a feel for it because what i've been doing normally oh we've got a nice lake there um we do some fishing here um, we can do some trading on this route and, and put some foresters uh, lodges down well the first thing that i do i like building a forest sort of city and I don't like too many sort of buildings in it so I'm going to do sort of like a forest hub and then um, see how we get on for there uh, so the first thing I do well I've been doing is putting my forest hub down and where's that gone and there it is and flip that round and I'm going to put this in a nice and that looks pretty good that's got lots of area for planting trees so that with that down I make sure that that's up um, we can definitely get on um, some of the screens up and put that one up put that one up so we've got resource limits uh, professions and put those down there, those down there, that over there, and professions over there. As I've got my forest hub up, and we're going to need a gatherer's hut pretty pronto. So I shall put down a gatherer's hut, flip that round, and that can go there. Uh, we can put in a road so we can see where, our, where we're going. Oh dear, don't like it there. I should have put the wrong one. I should have put the road in first, really. Um, I've got my. There he is. And I've got a road all the way to the edge of the forest hub. And the other way too. Right, so with the road in and the forest hub down, I can put in my what we're gonna now uh, what I'm gonna choose first. Uh, uh, what was it for um, Yep, gatherers hub. Where is it? There it is. And uh, I'll put these buildings quite close together. And we want a hunting lodge. And 
and he can go there. We'll also want to put in some barns as well. Uh, we'll want a um, stockpile. I'm going to put a small one in. So I don't think we need a big, big one. Not a 5x5, five 5x8, by five, five by 7 by 8 8 by 8 we we'll are put an 8 by 8 in for now. Um, uh, we want a barn. Uh, let's put all our stuff. And we want a house. Um, the first thing I do normally is because the housing, um, as long as I've got one house up and running, uh, it doesn't really matter if everyone else is homeless because they'll just go and get warm uh, when winter comes. Uh, and storage barn on pause. And where's my forest is large? That's on pause. Uh, we want the stock part up and running. Uh, got those. Got that hunting barn, gatherer's hut, storage barn, forester's lodge, and oh yeah, and him over there. And my wooden house is ready to go. And uh, first of all, we really do want some of these resources out of the way. So let's just get the stone because we. We're going to need a lot of stone. So, are we? Is this stone down here? Yep. So, take all that stone out and everything else, and let's just let's go. I don't like going too fast, but fast enough so you can get going. So, the storage cart has 1,200 potato. So that's quite a lot, yeah. Um, we can survive for a bit on that. So let's get in there. So they're clearing up my stockpile, getting that together. And I would like my storage barn up and running pretty quickly. So let's have a look at what's on the stockpile. We've got 21 logs and the storage barn takes 48. That takes a bit. So we're going to need quite a bit of stone to make all these buildings. Like I said, really we want to get this in before sort of autumn. All these buildings are up and running before autumn and winter. Before winter starts, otherwise we're going to get all our little parishes, all our little um, people frozen to death and starving. So as long as we survive the first winter, we'll be okay. So, come on, come on guys, go and pick up that stone, and we'll go and get some wood. Come on, there's good little fellas. Um, I'm not too worried about education at the moment, um, mainly because um, it's not important to me. Uh, later on in the game, it gets more important, I think. Um, they get more, the, the people, your citizens get more, um, well, more educated they are and more productive they are. So uh, it is a good thing, but at the moment we just want workers and builders and they're going to do their thing. So get those working, come on, come on, get all that stone. Come on guys, stop dawdling. And have a look. Ooh, we've got plenty of stone. Let's go and get some wood. Um, I like to keep the wood in there because the forester will start getting uh, knocking down those trees himself. So let's take out the wood outside. I have that wood, and we have that wood, and we have all that wood, please. So come on, not found those, and I can start building my buildings. So we're in Lake Spring. Oh, that's good. Um, we're going to need a herbalist up and running pretty quickly as well, because otherwise they're going to start getting sick. And, well, when your citizens get sick, 
they get less efficient and they start dying, especially when you start having children, they start dying in childbirth and all sorts of nasty things as well. So, uh, come on, come on. Right, so how are we, we doing on the wood? So logs, yep, we can definitely get our storage barn going. And we're going to need to sign a couple of builders for that. So let's do four builders, and that should be plenty. That should get things up and running. Come on, guys. Come on, get going. Come on. Work. And I'm going to put the roads in as well. So that's good. Might be able to hear my um, my CPU fan going on in the background. It's very noisy. I've been trying to quiet it down, but to no avail at the moment. Um, it has moments of quietness, but um, it doesn't look like it's going to have moments of quietness while I'm recording. So, so how are we doing with our storage farm? Come on, guys. Uh, the first one we want after that is our uh, yeah, Forester's Lodge. Oh, they've got all the, all the stuff there, so unpause the Forester's Lodge, let them work on that one. And then we're going to assign a labourer to be a Forester and get him working straight away. So, come on, come on, little fellas. There we are. And the story barn is up and running. And now we want to wait until how many logs we've got? Oh, 118. And enough stone to build everything we want. So, so we have got a pretty good starting position here. I'm quite pleased with this one. Some of them really difficult. I found. So. Right, come on, come on little fellas. Come on, build, get all that. And the next one we want is our gatherer's hut. I've been running, so I'm pause him. Um, why I'm sort of pausing and then unpausing the buildings is because they're more efficient just building one at a time. And it takes it much quicker. Um, otherwise they spread all their labor across. It takes forever uh, to get them to do that. and. I sort of come a cropper really. Um, my whole, my whole little team of starved to death by the time I've got my first gatherer's heart going. But, uh, come on, ah, got him. So get him working. There you go. Got a nice log limit. Um, now he'll just keep on chopping down trees until he hits that limit, and he will also plant trees as well, so he'll replenish the forest. And that's exactly what I want. And now with the gathers hat, hat, hat eight, and hey, we're getting on here. Um, we better get hit. Unpause the, we're going quite quickly now. Unpause the hunting cabin, get a gatherer going so we can get some food and then put it in the storage barn. So, got my, how many people we got? We've got four children, so that's good, that's cool. And we've got ten people. Oh no, we've just had an adult. Who's? Ah, we've had two. We've had Jothandu, Cadison, and Eugene Ariel. have all become labourers since we've been here, so. Um, that's probably one of the reasons why I don't do a school straight away. They, they bring some children that are just ready to become adults, really, so. So we got the gatherers hut working, um, and they should be. Ah, they've already got some food. Good on them. Hey, good for you. So I've got. I'm getting the hunting lodge up and running quite quickly because I want the leather as well, so that we can start making coats for them. Um, we cannot abide going through too many winters without all the needed clothing. So up. Oh, we got nice. We got a hunting 
uh, a gatherers and a foresters lodge on the go. And now let's get this house unfolded. So where are we? We're in autumn and this is essential. We've got to get that house up and running. Now what have we got in here? Uh, we've got berries, mushrooms and onions. That's good. And how many have we got here? And we've got the... What's in the storage card? And we've still got 386 potatoes, so that's good. So, yeah, we're doing all right. Um, don't want to build too many houses straight away because they do hoard food. Um, so we, we want to progressively give them housing, but we also want, don't want to be idle about giving them housing either because um, they won't start having children until they have housing. And they can have children. They can get married and have children when they're 10. Um, so, well, they could get married when they're ten. I'm not sure when they have some um, kids actually, but um, it's good. So, what have we got here? Oh, we've got a forester and a gatherer, 1621, and they've got a child already in there. Uh, we want to start seeing them having a couple more kids. Three is probably at the max. And what have they got in their inventory? See, they got firewood, potato. Right, we've got to get a um, cutter in. So the woodcutter um, needs to go in. It needs to go in and go. turn him round and put him next to the stock car so he doesn't have to walk too far. Get that built for me. Uh, just put three builders on now. Food is low. Well, I bet it is, but we've got. Come on. Make some stuff. Go and get some food. We've got 192 in stock. Oh, and they they've taken it. So what's what have they got in their inventory? See, they've got 176 potato and 20 firewood. What load of piggies they are. Come on, stop hoarding the food. You want leave some for these guys out here in the cold. Hmm. Yes, it's getting cold. They need food. Don't hog it all. Nasty little things. Right, so ah, we've got a cutter up. So let's get one of those in. And Teal does start automatically cutting put, uh, logs up. Um, the next thing I like to get in is a blacksmith. Uh, it's controversial. This is a very controversial one. Blacksmith or tailor first. Um, I like doing blacksmith, then tailor. Um, gives my gives my uh, hunters time. As you can see, they've already caught some venison. And they've got some leather from that, which is six leather. So that's good. I'm gonna put my, my blacksmith outside of my lodging, or my, my little, forest hub because that's about as far as I like putting stuff in my forest hub by the way um, and leave the rest to the forester so put him in uh, tone down the builders how are we doing are we on year one yet oh yeah we're still on year one I think we can get in another house as well after this so um, I like having random houses. Um, some people I've seen like doing their housing all the same. I like just having random stuff. Right, so I just leave it with the house that it gives me the first time round. Um, I'm going to wait until he's got all the stone. Oh, no iron. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Iron. Go and get some iron. Come on. Go, on, go and get that iron. Um, We've got any iron up here? Come on. We've not got much iron around here, have we? No, there's some iron up there. Um, there's some more iron down here. Mm. Come on. Get some iron up. Um, in the meantime, I shall put in another house so that we can get that up and going. And it's snowing time. Hey, early spring. Ah, we're in the early spring. So, 
I think we can say we survived our first uh, year. Uh, we have a for forester's lodge up, a hunting cabin up, a gatherer's hut up. We got a house. We're on construction of a new house that can go away sometime. Uh, iron 32. How, many iron, how much iron have we still got? Iron 2. Ooh, we still need iron. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go and get me some iron. Is it all down here? We definitely have not got much iron, have we? This is this is not good. Uh, take some up there. Come on. No, this is a sorry state. This is iron. Hmm. This could be a bit of a problem. Um, have we got any iron over here? Oh, we've got loads of iron over there. We'll send them over there in a minute. Um, how are we doing on this one? How are we doing over here? Come on, guys. Get going. Come on. So, my ears always start off a little bit slow. One blacksmith. Um, we can place them down there. Place them down. Place them down. Um, I think if you're idling, you can go and pick up some stone over there. Um, what else we got over here? Mm. I mean, do we still need that iron? No, no. We don't need any more iron. That's good. Cool. We're all good. Blacksmith, come on. We need to go and make us some tools. We don't want to be running out of tools. I prefer not to run out of tools rather than run out of coats because they can run into the house, get warm, um, and if they run out of tools, it gets really slow. So, but we need iron. Oh no. Uh, this is not good news. Oh, right, right. Go and find us some iron over. Oh, that's a big bench. Go and get that lot. That was, yeah. This is. We might have to build a iron mine for this. Oh, I don't like doing those too much. Go on, off you go. Go and get some iron. Go on. That's. Hmm. We need those iron, iron for iron tools. We need the iron. Come on, come on. So, who have we got in the house this time? So, oh yeah, that's good. We've got two of those people in the house. And how much? So, we've got two houses up and running. Uh, we got. Oh, and we've got another child. Excellent. Ooh. So we're expanding already. Cool. Um, let's pick another house in. Going down. Say so two, four, six. Then we're going to have we got one, two, three, four job, four, five jobs. Point uh, him. It looks like we're going to have to see if we can start training stuff as well. Oh, I can put an iron mine over here. That looks like a good spot. And start digging for it. Uh, what else have we got over here? We've got any Oh, this is a pretty good map though. I do like this map. But oh, there's loads of iron up there. So we're going to have to expand upwards. Hmm. Yep. Definitely. Alright, so we got how many homeless people we still got? Um how many people would have homes? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They'll soon be housed. Don't worry guys, you soon get a house.
Um, I'm gonna stick another gatherer on, get some more food, and another hunter. So let's see how they're doing. 160, yeah. And gatherers. Yep, they're not doing too bad. And come on, guys. I know we want. I think I want you fully housed before I end this episode. So, hmm. And then I can get rid of all that. How are you doing, Andy? I haven't got rid of any stone. No. No, oh, you have, haven't you? But yeah. So what's running low? Mm -hmm. Food. So yeah. Let's see if we can resolve that by add, yeah with the added manpower in those buildings. who was born and the old man became an adult and was working for labour. Cool. Yes, no schooling for these kiddos. None of that book learning for you. We really don't want you getting any ideas. Get to work. That's right. Not in this place. So, how many more houses do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four. I think we'll be good with another house. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, guys. And bobbing, bobbing. Well, it sounds like something you do is um, sewing, isn't it? You know, electric. You know, there's. Um, Sewing machines, bobbing. Was it bobbing for the? If you're bobbing in a barrel of apples, you remember? Remember doing that as a kid, bobbing about in the water. What a name! Well, they certainly have basically a sense of humour. Their parents. Yeah, good job he's not going to school, otherwise he'd be ripped for that one. Right, come on. We're going to wrap it up in a minute. And how are we doing for wood, iron, iron? Yeah, firewood is getting up there, that's good. Stone is fine. Come on, make these buildings for you. Um, I've got them all prioritised on getting all this stuff, haven't I? And let's prioritise up these buildings. Come on. I want to get these up and running, get it all housed, and we should be sorted then. And then that's it, really. Yeah. Come on. Come on, guys. Get that sorted. I've got some stone there. Come on. Ah, and we've got Anna. And a new baby was born straight away. Wow. So, new baby. Uh, so, Luce, is that Lucilla has become an adult. And also a child named Frey. Frian is born. Frian? Hey, hello. Welcome to our clan. And we've got a house up. And that's good. So, and we've got a builder and a gatherer in there. That's good. And tell me more people we've got. 
One, two, three, four. Come on. Yeah, and no, go and get warm. Go on. Go and get warm. There's good lad. Come on. Don't die in the cold. Go and get warm. Go on, make these buildings for you, please. Come on. Well, we're going to have to sort of wrap it up there. And so we've got quite a few things done. We've got our food is low. Yep, we know it's low. Uh, that gets sorted, don't worry. And basically, we've survived our first winter. We're into our second winter. winter. And then you're going to build this. I'm getting distracted. I really want them to build that. I'm going to have to take a priority of that. Um, stop gathering stuff. That's it. Stop gathering stuff. Go and build. Go and gather stuff in a minute. Come on. I really want this build before we wrap this up. So, so what we got? We got the house is going in. How many logs we got? Are we are we running short of logs? Oh, we are, aren't we? Um, that's why. Uh, uh, so we're going to wrap this up anyway, and we've got four bit four houses built. And the forester is doing logs, and we're going to have to get some more and we're going to have to house these guys next time so until then um, I'll see you later and hopefully we survive into a fourth and fifth year okay right bye for now